December drive all continues with number 24, the Losi SBR 2.0 Brenthal. This particular one's got some mods. I'm going to show this to you on the table, and outside we go. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. This is a big, smooth operator. Big old desert truck. Got all kinds of Vitavon stuff on it. I mean, it is fully loaded. Front sway bar, those just kept falling off. Could not keep those links on, so I just simply took it off in the heck with that. So, rear sway bar, in my opinion, could be a lot stiffer. And it also could be a lot further out, which would make it a lot more effective by leverages. But anyway, look at all that Vitavon. Yeah, this thing is uh, pretty much dusty. <laughs> Time to go. Now, this truck, much like the SBR 1.0, is loud. I mean, everything is set right as far as I know, unless there's some kind of bearing issue that's been slowly creeping up on it. But if there's a bearing that's going to, that's going to blow up, we'll probably see that today. And it's loud. Here we have the track that I built. And uh, hopefully it does pretty good. May just have a messed up pinion gear wore out. Well, I need to hit that a little harder, don't I? Nice, nice. Now this is a really nice truck. Except for sometimes when it does that. You actually see the rear axle torque a little bit when you launch it and that kind of throws the truck at an angle. Beautiful truck though. Let's see if I can go ahead and make something on this or I'm gonna flip it over again. Wow! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Cleared it good! <laughs> oh! Now, coming on the back side, or um, hitting the, um, driving up the back side of this, there's kind of a little bit of a bump back there. I need to get that out. Nice. I wonder if I can get this one. So far, I haven't lined up very well for it. Let's see here. All right, what I'm doing now, I'm letting off on the throttle so it doesn't torque. Let's see if I get the same thing here. Yeah. I guess I just have to learn how to drive this thing. No, there we go. Ah, oh, there it was again. And I'm stuck. Apparently that particular landing kind of bent the front right wheel, got a little wobble to it. And it was actually hitting the caliper, which means the brake was actually doing its job. <laughs> oh well, it's still alive in all of its loud glory. Another one. I'm going to stop jumping it. Uh, this just seems to not be in the realm of expertise for this particular vehicle. But I'll mess around with it a little bit. Let's see if I can get some good passes with it.
fair, that is not the intended terrain for this vehicle. It's meant more for desert, you know, some whoops and stuff like that where it can really shine. Hitting those jumps just doesn't really work well for this thing. I was able to get a few by letting off and just letting it coast up without that back end torquing. When that back end torques, when you step on the gas or throttle, um, when you see the truck do this number, it's got a load on this side over here. And when you launch coming up, that can actually twist the truck in the air. So that's why it needs a much, much more robust rear sway bar system. If it could hold that back end steady without allowing it to torque twist, but still allow it to move, it will help out quite a bit, especially on those jumps. But that's just not really the right terrain for it. Overall, the truck did good. I do have a bent wheel now. I have one left on the back that's still good. Um, one of the ones on the back has a stripped wheel hex. Yeah, also did that. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. In that description, I will put a link to all this stuff down below, so make sure you check that out. Um, they are affiliate links, AMA and eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. So use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Give it a big thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you all for watching.